Mike Lindell is about to take the stage. So Trump's not going to be, it's supposed to be on at four. Um, uh, my time is so at about an hour and a little less. And I, and it's raining and nasty and yucky. And I'm going to enjoy this quite thoroughly. Um, there's been mud throughout the whole thing. This, I mean, this is what you get for, for backing Dr. Oz. I think really this is there, you know, so yeah, it's, it's raining. It's ugly. It's gross. And speaking of, uh, gross, here comes Mike Lindell. <laughs> Thanks Mike for pointing at the sky so that we can see your belly through your shirt. Now, no umbrella, bless his heart. I guess he's pointing at the, where the lightning that's going to strike him is coming from. Hello, everybody. Um, I was uh, I was backstage. I want to talk about where we're at. Right <laughs> I threw a drink in my own face. Right now, in our country, with the rotten fake news back there. By the way, the only people uh, filming this is RSBN, Newsmax, and OAN. So there, he's just stealing right out of Trump's playbook. I'm gonna. Boo, RSBN, boo, OAN, boo. I'm going to tell you, I'll tell you what just happened. Oh, boy. It's going to be terrible. Something terrible is just about to happen. What happened? I did an interview here, and already it's out in the news. And, they, and uh, they've, this is what they do. So this is on 2,000 Meals, the great movie that these guys worked over a year on. All the What, were they supposed to start before the, the alleged election fraud? Um, by the way, I will be doing a takedown of 2,000 mules at some point when I don't have to pay for it. Hard work and the evidence, everything they went into it, Dinesh Asosa in this movie. Well, here's the article. Dinesh Asosa, in case you don't know who he is. They put out just now by the horrible Daily Beast. Oh, no. Okay, first of all, the headline says, it says, uh, Google yourself much? My pillow guy suggests. My pillow guy's ego is so brittle that all we have to do is fuck with him with one headline and he'll read it in front of a bunch of motherfucker. Yes, the SCOTUS leak was done to sabotage him. No, this is not what I said. What I said was when uh -huh. they, their movie came out two hours before that, it leaked out of the, something that's never happened in our country. They leaked this out. And so everybody focused on that and not this movie that has all the evidence in it to, to get this country, to get this, uh, these things fixed. Uh -huh. In this thing, this is, the, this is his line in this. Mm -hmm. It says, the 2000, the 2000, uh, 20. I just talked to this terrible reporter on the phone too. <laughs> the, um, it says, uh, it, just spit it out that the debunked 2000 meals movie the debunked they've already debunked it i said who debunked it well they did are you kidding me this is what they do i think they mean the uh the charges made in the movie have been debunked over and over again they don't have to start from scratch with every iteration to try and suppress everything we have and to keep giving out disinformation. It's just suppressing. Information. That's it's so, so suppressed. Yeah, it's 2,000 mules. I don't know why it wasn't 2,020 mules. That's why these rallies are so important. Thank you, Jerry Cummings. She says, you know what to do, vote blue. Support for Ukraine. Agreed, agreed, agreed. By the way, Daily Beast, lose my phone number. Okay. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, he's going to, I'm sorry, uh, Daily Beast, he just swiped right on you, or swiped left. I always forget which way. Kids today and their, and their little dial-up fuck machine. I don't know how it works. <laughs> I think he called him. Horrible. I have Horrible. dealt with the, with the fake news for over a year. They attack you, they attack, but we've been able to get the word out. No and by the way, this asshole does nothing but attack the news. In general, like these fake news, these people back here, he has no idea who's filming the fucking place. The only people that are filming it are on his side, and he still says that. And yet, it's the news that does fake attacks. Now they just, now what they're doing, they're just trying to discredit because they know things are falling like dominoes. Yeah, that's why. This movie is so important mm. because it's 100% evidence. Mm. Millions of votes turned in that they were paid for, you guys, when you see this movie. we These rallies are so important because we can get the... By the way, uh, let's see, hold on. All right, he's... 
where is he? There he is. Hold on. So this is anybody. Uh, if you see, um, is this the one he's talking to? So he's talking to, the, to her. Jesus Christ. She looks like she's going to like, there you go. This is it. Does he go before they go to the ad and then they come back? Oh yeah, they do. So he's been, he's been on like multiple times cause he pays for this fucking thing. So, okay. Uh, this guy comes in, they're the other hosts. They come in, here comes Mike Lindell. Okay. So he pops in. I just caught the tail end of the second time he ran to these folks. Oh, on mystore.com. I don't know. I'll have to ask him. Come on in here out of the rain. I'm going to ask you smart. How about Smartmatic, right? No. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's right. That was good. Hold on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah. well, we're glad you're joining hey, us uh, you're here, uh, Alex yeah. Caldwell. Oh, it's very loud. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. There, 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 there's this fake news. They're not just fake. They're loud. And Obama, of course, the yeah. great Hello. Mike Lindell. Let's talk about a. You know, yeah, hey, well, hey, thanks well, for wanna, thanks for coming well, to yet another rally. This, you, you've been a consistently, consistently coming to these rallies. I I, 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 I pay for these. What do you mean? I mean I'm trying to break a record here. No. <laughs> <laughs> Well, <laughs> let's talk about let's talk about Pennsylvania. Hey, you, got, you got any crack? Okay, we'll be right back. Uh, Pennsylvania. Let's talk about Pennsylvania. I mean, it's very active here. Oh, it's very dishonest. Oh, the, the people in the oh, what's They're going very on? Very controversial, obviously. Yeah, a lot of. Uh, I want to talk about uh, one yeah. thing. Hold oh, on a oh. second. Yeah, his phone. Uh -oh. he's always got the phone he's on. Got, him right uh, there. Uh, hold um, on. He's getting. A, uh, I'm getting a call right now. It's the Daily Beast. They're very dishonest. You were oh, a big part of There's a lot of shenanigans that went on in Pennsylvania. And Christina, yeah. uh, you guys know yeah, more oh, yeah, than yeah, anybody. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, it's what well, it is. Well, it's, oh, <laughs> I always joke about oh, Pennsylvania. Uh, yeah, I do. You got a law here. Uh, 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 you can't turn in no. more votes than voters. Oh, wow. That's, that's, a, what? that's incredible. But they did it. They did it anyway. That's amazing. They, they, that's I mean, I don't know. There's no evidence of it, but that's, I mean, it's, it's crazy. So, <laughs> you know, you get here. You, I tell that joke and uh, nobody laughs. I kind of wonder, like, where's the logic in that? You turn in your electors, you have more votes than voters. And, uh, yeah, yeah. I, 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 uh, and, uh, you know, this has been a part of the biggest cover up of the biggest crime in history. Uh, and, you know, we're sitting here today. By the way, I, anything he says uh, 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 on, the, on the number. We're going to be talking about I just yeah. seen 2000 meals twice. You just saw it. He, he means saw. He said he saw it. He didn't see back it. to back. But when it launched, everybody, when it launched, uh -huh. like three days ago, uh -huh. I was in Phoenix for the big launch, right? And then I was. Yeah. And then there, like, don't, you don't want to go to the shitty launches of a big movie like that or whatever, because it's only got like the C list uh, people. You only get to see the people who are like 800 affidavits down. Those aren't the people you want to. Uh, Mar-a-Lago two days later, but when it launched. Yeah. The, the good one was in Phoenix. The, the one at Mar-a-Lago was shit, shit, shit. I was doing a speak, uh, an event, the uh, Carrie Lake. A, a speak event. Yeah, I, I do those a lot. In Arizona. And an hour, or two hours before the event, all of a sudden, the news comes in that it leaked out from the Supreme Court. What kind of timing is that? You follow me? Oh, I follow you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What kind of timing is that? You follow me? You see what I'm saying? You get what I'm saying? You, you see what I'm laying down? And so that gets the news rather uh -huh. than more and more evidence and right. more stuff piling. More and more. Yeah. Just, you know, that that big story about, you know, the, the, the annihilation of Roe v. Wade, you know, uh, something that the right's been after for uh, decades, you know, it beats out this uh, um, dead mule we've been dragging. On ...of what happened in the 2020 election. It's uh -huh. disgusting. You know, it's planned. They do it. I mean, they're trying to out, they're trying to outmark. It's planned. Uh, they do it. So, uh, just for the record, there, just in case, you know, shall we go back to where he was uh, saying he was misquoted by the Daily Beast? What kind of timing is that? It's planned. Now everybody's paying attention to that instead of. Uh, hold on. Oh my gosh. And the rain. I tell you 
I'll tell you what just happened. I did an interview here. Yeah, oh, we did. So this is on 2,000 meals. The great right, and the yeah. evidence, everything so they went into by the we, horrible Daily Beast. Terrible. Okay, first of all, the, yeah, the SCOTUS to. leak was done to sabotage him. No, this is not what I said. What I said was when they... And by the way, I think they mean to sabotage the release of the movie and the information getting out, not him personally. Uh, Their but. movie came out two hours before that. It leaked out of the, something that's never happened in our country. They leaked this out. And so everybody focused on that and not this movie that has all the evidence in it to, to get this country, to get this uh, these things fixed. In this thing, this is, the, this is his line in this. It says... The 2000, the 2000, uh, I just talked to this terrible reporter on the phone too. The, um, it says uh, that the debunked 2000 Meals movie, the debunked, they've already debunked it. I said, who debunked it? Well, they did. Are you kidding me? This is what the- Well, it's, it's out already too. They do have a copy. They do to try and suppress everything we have and to keep giving out disinformation. That's why these rallies are so important. They are, they are. Uh, and not just because uh, many of you haven't showered in a long time. And this is, you know, God's way of telling you, uh, use soap. By the way, Daily Beast, lose my phone number, okay? <laughs> Horrible. I have dealt with the, with the fake news for over a year. They attack you, they attack. We saw this part been, already. Oh, we, we'll we're, skip ahead. Are they trying to cancel our voice like they did over a year ago on January 7th, where 1.2 million Americans were deplatformed on YouTube, Vimeo, on Twitter, Suckabucks, Facebook, all. Yeah, uh, yeah. Never, never pass up a chance to say an anti-Semitic Jewish money slam. Yeah. Back there, they can't help but report that we're out here in the rain and our great president Donald Trump is going to come here and speak regardless of the weather because it's... I, I'm sure uh, he's going to, he won't bitch about it at all. Because it is so important. If he cancels, this would be so beautiful. To our country, he loves our country. We love our country. And what's wrong with the media? What's wrong with people that don't what want is the it? truth to come oh. up? You have to ask yourself this. And you talk about politicians. I want to say one more thing. Well, and I would, I would argue then what's, what's wrong with you that you don't want to face the truth that you lost, that he lost, that it's over, that we've, uh, you know, that we've, I've gone through all of his friggin' movies and it's going to be the same shit we saw. Thing here too. The, the Republicans, you, the legislatures here in Pennsylvania, this is, uh, you know, back yeah, okay, in 2020, you know, we have, we have to fix that. In 2020, oh all the laws that were broke, the laws that were broke. I'll give you one. They have a law here in Pennsylvania. You can't have more votes. Than <clears throat> Look at a lady tugging on her crotch behind Mike. We can't pay attention. There's a lady in 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 like it, it, it's like a car wash music video happening behind you. And voters. What? What a law, huh? No, it's the, it's the same joke. He, he was testing material on the reporters. But she, but they did it anyway. They turned in their electors with more votes than voters, and it's a. And no, they didn't. Shame that they, the, the legislatures here in Pennsylvania, they're the ones that are supposed to make the laws. Not the Secretary of State's and not the governors. They make the laws. So these, these legislatures... They did make the laws. They made emergency powers laws because we were in an emergency situation. They, if you had a hurricane or a fucking tornado or a series of floods, you wouldn't have a system set up where you had to convene the fucking legislature across the entire goddamn state if to pass a law to fix the voting system. If you had, if people were not be able, to, not able to reach their voting polling place because of floods or a fucking hurricane, that there's emergency powers there. This was one of those things. I, like, I don't know why this is confusing to these assholes, other than the fact, like, in Mike's case, I I can't tell if he's dumb or just lying at this point. It's not just in your state. We we will look back. Because he's dumb, but dumb people can lie, too. History, and we will see this, and they're going to be known as only one or two things, either traitors or heroes. There's nothing in between, everybody. That's right. There are no pedestrians in this. You're either with us or against us. Period. Mm -hmm. They need to get up and step up and put laws back into place and say, well, how about uh, 
we invert that uh, the definition because everybody who doesn't believe your bullshit would argue that the opposite of your definition is true. The people you would call heroes, I would call traitors, and people you would call traitors, I would call heroes because they stood up in this situation. It's no. Not gonna. You can't break the laws you did in 2020. They didn't break any laws. You can't do it. We're not. They didn't break any laws. We have to get rid of the machines. We have to address 2020. By the way, everybody, you want hope? You know, with the yes, communication, always. you can go to frankspeech.com right now, my platform, and you can see the injunctions we're doing. We're going to every state mm -hmm. and doing preliminary injunctions. Preliminary injunctions. I, I. Uh, it, now that now that you are getting into the you know the deep reeds of litigation, you 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 have my attention. To get rid of the voting machines, and uh, you know, and this is what we have to do. Yeah, a prelim. That should all, that should be all it takes, right? You just some random fuck from outside the state files a, a preliminary injunction to try and get rid of the voting tabulation system that the voters and their representatives have used and created over decades. You, you could just do that. You could just roll up on somebody else's state and with a, a single preliminary injunction, you could just freeze the voting machines in place. Oh, no, you actually can't. I see. It's a waste of fucking time. We can't have, after you watch 2,000 meals and you see all this stuff, we can't have another selection and not an election ever. Okay. Okay. So I just want to give you all hope. It's like you guys are all here. We're here because why we care about our country and all people. This is the thing. I don't understand why the media back there. Um, it, well, you'll have to ask whoever the fuck funds RSBN. They didn't even wait 15 minutes before they attacked this movie and all the work that was done. So I want to say well, I think they probably watched it skeptically as you would. And as they went along, went, well, that's bullshit. And that's bullshit, and that's bullshit, and that's bullshit, and that's true, but the conclusion you're pulling is bullshit from it. That happens all the time. That's not weird at all, and you're making it look weird. Uh, I think they kind of did it that way, with a little, sort of a checklist of bullshit. Say, you know, there's... Right they're in Greensburg, Pennsylvania, by the way. No, they're afraid. They're very afraid of they, and they, uh... And when we get way out here, when we get through this, I stand before you. We have all the pieces to this puzzle. God's had his hand in all of this. And every and just be patient because we get through it. And we will once again be one nation under God. We'll get God back in our schools. And we're in the greatest revival for Jesus in history. God bless you all.